Hello viewers, welcome to Divine Stories, where we narrate the stories of people who have died, gone into a coma, and who have seen the other side. If you enjoy watching these videos, please consider giving us a thumbs up, hitting the subscription button, and the bell icon to be notified of our new videos. Doing so is free, and it does help us to grow. So thanks for your support. In today's video, I will be sharing with you an extraordinary near-death experience of a lady who was critically ill. So let's dive into our today's experience. I'm so happy to finally tell a researcher this story. It took over a year to make sense of it. About a year afterwards, I burst into tears exclaiming, I had to have been dead to meet up with Jesus. It hadn't occurred to me I had died. In August 2020, I had a dinner party planned and the day before I was setting tables for three generations of guests. COVID had begun just a few months prior in March and we'd all been locked down since. It was decided a meatloaf with mashed potatoes and gravy was just the comfort food we all needed. Suddenly, a wave of nausea came on me. I began to vomit violently. I knew that meant I'd been poisoned with likely food poisoning because it came on suddenly and was like when I got sick from fish oil multiple times years prior. My husband Bernie watched with big eyes asking over and over should he cancel the dinner? I kept vomiting, but managed to tell him, no way, it's going to pass inside eight hours, and I was ready. The food prep was all that was left, and I'd have a full day that next morning to complete everything. Then the diarrhea started. Again, it was violent and came in the bed. I was so sick, I wiped it off the sheets, threw a large beach towel over it, and laid down in it for what would be the next two weeks. Too sick to roll side to side for my husband to change sheets. Easier to lay in it. Yeah, that's sick. I have a colostomy and wrote a medical book on the subject for patients. I am hyper aware of E. coli, so the choice to swim in poop was a real challenge, but I opted for it because I was too sick to move. I couldn't care less at that point about hygiene, although it's all but my mantra. Yup, time to cancel because food poisoning had never moved into watery diarrhea, so he canceled our party. I proceeded to get fevers and learned what spiked fevers are. They came back to back for hours, days, and weeks. I was fast losing weight because I couldn't eat. We wondered where all the diarrhea came from. No food for days and days. It got so bad that Bernie had to carry me to the potty. He's 6'6", but at 70 I was heavy for him, even down to 111 pounds. I lost track of time. Days versus nights all blended together. One day I woke up in a desert. I raised my head. Interesting, because I just couldn't before. I raised my head to see Jesus leaning on a big boulder at a cliff wall. We were in a desert, and I was face down on the ground. There he was, in his white robe, real casual-like. Because we chat daily, I wasn't a bit surprised he showed up. I immediately skipped all greeting or formalities and cut to the chase. I asked him, so you're going to burn all this out of me? His response was, yes, ma'am. Of course, it was telepathy in my head. I would later find a few addictions gone. For example, cough drops. Sucked several a day, no cough, just addicted. Poof, now gone and never ate another one. I trust him completely, so I didn't question him. I accepted it readily because he's the driver. I nodded, okay, let's roll then. We chatted longer, but he wiped my memory of the rest of the conversation to be remembered at the appropriate time. Jesus pushed off the boulder he leaned on and walked over to me. I think he merely touched my head with a fingertip and I awoke back in my bed. I immediately grabbed my phone, not touched in weeks, so still had some charge left. I put the experience in my notes on the iPhone. I walked out of my bedroom into the kitchen and was celebrated as still alive. About a year or so later, I discovered the phone notes. Therein was the key to my experience with Jesus. Bernie's of the belief Jesus blocked this memory until needed. I have to agree now. In those notes I had asked Jesus about my book. I literally gave him my life to use as he pleases. I'm a sucker for the guy and he knows it. Daily, I turn my life and my will over to him. He has since dictated my second book in what seemed to be some sort of manic high since then. He stayed months until we fleshed out my number two book. Some call it channeling, but my family called it insanity. I could see through everything and everyone. People hate being called out. I relate. But call them out. I did. It didn't help my relationships much because those narcissists are always right, so I must be crazy. I got a kick out of them being in denial. 
Perhaps this was an after-effect, being high and letting Jesus take the wheel. I had a blast, family. Not so much, lol. Once one walks with Jesus, all else pales. The propaganda the group think the insanity of these times are just a contrast to no light. Darkness is fading faster than fast now. It's time to share. Thanks for watching.